Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Stern, Stern Chiropractic, helping you and your kids maximize your health, performance, and quality of life naturally. Over the last couple of months, I've talked about East meets West and salutogenesis, so I thought this month I'd talk about chiropractic. You see, as a chiropractor, I specialize in working with your nervous system. Your nervous system is the master control system of your body, your information superhighway, the communication between your brain and body and body and brain. When it's flowing freely, everything works great. But when there's interference, that's when problems start to arise. And they don't necessarily arise right away. It's like a fire at the house. It has to smolder and burn and get hot enough and smoky enough to set off the heat and smoke sensors. And then, if the firemen respond to your alarm, kick your door down, shut off the alarm, and run out of the house, well, that's not going to solve any problems. But that's just like doing things to take care of your symptoms without addressing the underlying problem. You see, it's like your house in a storm. If there's a big surge coming through and you blow fuses, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, yeah, the lights go out and the fridge goes out and it kind of stinks. But if you had the same storm and same surge, but you didn't have a fuse box on the wall, what would happen? Well, the fuse box is put there to protect you because without it, maybe the house would catch on fire. Maybe it'd blow up something not good. In our lives, our fuses blow and our storms are our lifestyle stressors chemical, physical, and mental, emotional. And when they accumulate and become overwhelming, that's when we blow our fuses. And people come here to my office to address these blown fuses. In chiropractic, we call them vertebral subluxations. Now you lay on my table, I find out where you're subluxated, and I use nice gentle adjustments. Remember, I specialize in pediatric and maternity care, so my adjustments are very gentle and very appropriate for whomever is laying on the table. But you get adjusted, it's like flicking your fuses back on, turning your power back on, restoring the communication between your brain and body and body and brain, so now your body can heal and function better. So you get up, many times feeling a lot better, certainly in proper alignment, but then you walk out my front door. And what do you think happens? Well, you're walking into the same storm, the same chemical, physical, and mental, emotional stressors that were going on in your life beforehand. They're still going on. So what do I do? Well, when my practice members come in, I check where they're subluxated, I adjust them to clear those subluxations so their body can function properly. And then we spend a little time talking about the different chemical, physical, and mental, emotional stressors they have and try to address one piece at a time so they can slowly make change and start to move in the right direction of healing and higher levels of function and quality of life. So what are these stressors? Well, the chemical stressors could be what the food you're eating, refined processed carbohydrates, white sugar, white flour, junk food, fast food, uh, meat, uh, coffee, alcohol. It can be prescription and over-the-counter medications. All of these things are chemical stressors. Physical stressors. Well, it could be falls, traumas, accidents, or injuries, but usually it's a lot more of the sitting at the computer, looking down at our electronics. Uh, that lack of activity and poor posture tends to be our biggest physical stressors. Now you can get up from a junk food meal and reduce your chemical stress. You can straighten up your posture and get up and move around and reduce your physical stress. But if you have problems at home, problems at work, problems with your friends, problems with your parents, problems with your kids, uh, any social emotional elements that are causing you mental emotional stress, boy, that stuff doesn't go away when you get up from the table, does it? Like I tell the kids when I talk at the schools, it's like carrying around a hundred pound backpack with you all the time that gets heavier and heavier as you don't address your stuff. The chemical and, and physical uh, stressors are definitely the easier ones to handle, but the mental emotional stressors really play a huge part. So addressing those elements is really important. I encourage you to go to the website, www.sternchiro.com. 
Go to the newsletter tab. I've got over 23 years of health and wellness newsletters there that go through proper eating habits, exercises, posture, stress management, deep breathing. I just finished a five month series this year on meditation and deep breathing. Check that out. All of these things are designed to help you change your storm so that when you bring your family in to get your nervous systems checked so that you have the best quality of life possible, you're going to be able to have those subluxations cleared and not walk into the same storm so that you keep moving in that right direction and the kids keep moving into optimal development and higher levels of function and they perform at their best, as will you. Again, I encourage you to go to the website, www.sterncower.com. Check out our newsletter archive. I know you'll find a lot of interesting information there. And please, share it with your family, share it with your friends, and make sure to give me a call and bring your family in to get your nervous systems checked. It's just like getting a lube and oil for your car or getting your teeth checked at the dentist, but this is your nerve system, the master control system of your body. It is vital that it functions optimally, and I'm here to help you. I hope this has helped. I look forward to seeing you next month. Have a great month. Peace.